Rob Stone, Randy Peterson, Kimberly Pressler welcoming you back to our continuing coverage of the World Series of Bowling. Time now for the Geico Championship Recap. Randall? Well, Rob, I'll tell you one little piggy that didn't cry wee 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 all the way home. It's that guy right there, Michael Haugen Jr. taking down Lonnie Wallachek, 248-228. His consolation prize for that victory, he gets to take on a Hall of Famer. You think Norm Duke liked that last shot? A little bit. Yeah, 269-247 winner for Duke. Then in the third match, up up that big trip four pin en route to a seven-bagger. Norm Duke takes down Richie Allen, 229-192. So that's how we got to where we are right now. The three seed, Norm Duke, set to take on your number one seed, Eugene McCune. And we bring in Kimberly now. And Kimberly, Eugene just absolutely destroyed history earlier this week. That's right, Rob. History was made this week when Eugene McCune broke Walter Ray Williams Jr.'s nine-game scoring record in the Cheetah Match play round. He knocked down 2,468 pins for an average of 274. McCune also threw two perfect 300s in the effort. That's pretty amazing, guys. Book ended by 300 games. Yeah, that's more than impressive. And here's the introduction for Eugene. The tournament leader has won national and 18 regional PBA titles from Munster, Indiana, the Rocket, Eugene McCune. McCune, your number one seed here at the Cheetah Championship. That ball gets there in a hurry with bad intentions. Mm. I, I can't remember the last time a player has ever averaged 274 for nine games. Oh, because it's never happened. Oh, he broke Walter Ray Williams Jr. record Shattered. by 101 pins. Yeah. Audacious. Well, the last uh, performance I can recall like that was Bob Learn Jr. back in Erie, Pennsylvania. Television show, it was only for four games when Bob Learn averaged almost 280. Norm's first effort here in the title match. Duke Schmidt heavy here. Yeah, lucky. Luckily, only losing the six ten and not the four seven with it. Norm cleans that one up, and time now for the more of what matters to you fan question brought to you by the makers of One a Day. All right, Randy, Extra Frames Jackie Bowling mentioned the bowler's burn session during qualifying. What does she mean by burn session? Well, what she means and what the players mean is that the players are competing on lanes that haven't been re-oiled. So once the players have qualified for six, uh, bowled their first six-game block, they come back and bowl another six-game block on lanes that haven't been touched. Duke a strike in the second. The burn refers to the amount of friction that has now been created from all the bowling balls going down the lane, lanes for six games without being re-oiled. And so that forces the players to the far inside or deepest part of the lane to try to find more oil, thus referring to the burn. Back to back, opening jacks for McCune. Well, this is one of Eugene's favorite shots to play really, really fast from the extreme outside part of the lane. He told us both in, in his interview, Rob, this is his A game. Not a lot of adjustments that need to be made when he's playing this line. You can see he's brought only two bowling balls out going with the taboo. This is his first time ever as a number one seed. Last year, the top seed in stepladder finals only went two and five. 
Kuhn seeking his second ever Lumber Liquidators PBA Shield title. I always love the angry spare ball. <laughs> One of my favorites on the tour. The angry spare ball. Only 31 times has somebody defended a PBA Tour title. Norm has done it once. Defended the World Championship, ironically enough, in 08 and in 08, the way that schedule worked out that year. Norm sounds like he's on the tennis courts today with the grunt we've been hearing from him lately. It's a heck of a shot. It's a heck of a shot right there. Heck of a shot. It's a spare number. Skims the 10 down into the pit. There's a look up at the title match here at the Brunswick Pro Bowling Cheetah Championship. Sort of a discrepancy in a lot of those numbers between the two finalists. Right there to open up the fourth for Duke. And ironically, Eugene McCune's only title came in 2002 and actually beat Norm Duke on that telecast en route to claiming his first victory. The Banquet Classic in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Not only did he beat Norm Duke, he also took down Walter Ray Williams Jr. en route to his only tour title. McCune up nine, bottom of the fourth. McHugh, not the only athletically talented member of his family. Son Kevin tears it up on the diamond. My biggest passion is my son Kevin. When he goes out and plays baseball, he's 11 and we do travel baseball. He plays like 100 games a year. And we're out there, I pitch to him every day and he's awesome. One, he was swinging the bat. I mean, he, it was unbelievable. He was like one and a half and I had to throw him a slow one, he'd hit it. I'd speed it up, he'd hit it like, you know, in the center. Next pitch, I'll throw a little harder and he'll pull the sucker on me. <laughs> I mean, it was, it's unbelievable how he just, from the time he was little, he just killed the ball. And he still does, I mean, he bats like 700. I taught him, I said, when you're in a pressure situation, when it comes down to when you need to do something, that's when it's fun. And that's how he approaches. It's amazing. He's got the same approach. When he gets in a pressure situation, he's like, all right, this is fun. I want to I wanna do it, you know? That's what you got to have to be great at an athlete, you know? Yeah. I mean, everybody in the area says he's like one of the best players in the area. And this is coming from other coaches. And it's like, I mean, it's pretty, pr you're, you're proud. And Eugene, maybe with some more good mojo this week, his father, Don, works at Sunset Station Pro Shop just here in Vegas. Able to spend a lot of time with his dad. Whoa. Almost God. lost his balance and gets a fortunate break. And there is instant replay this season on the PBA Tour, but it did not appear there was any violation, Randy. Yeah, I didn't see if he fouled or not because of all the people in front of us, but it doesn't appear as though he did. Let's take a look. He did his best not to go head first, and a nice break, and we're leaving the 4-6. Mark Sabatine, PBA foul line official, says there was no infraction. So McCune picks up the spare in the fifth, lead at nine. Here's Norm Duke, two strikes in this championship match, one in the second, one in the fourth. Looking for his first pair here as he is on the right lane. You see what he's done today on that right lane. 11 of 14 have been strikes. And another strike on the right lane. 
Well, the thing about a player like Norm Duke is you don't want to give him a lot of opportunities, Rob. When you have him down, you need to keep him down. You need to keep a foot on his neck. But if you give him enough time and you let him hang around long enough, he will figure out a way to beat you. Again, last year, he was down big in game number two of his Cheetah Championships to Ryan Simonelli. Rallied big time and then just kept on storming through to get that title. How many pins down was he? 42. Too much finesse on that left lane and that shot right there in particular. And that ball had zero on it in terms of angle. Talk to Norm before the telecast, asked him about his goals this year, and he was quick, you know, same as every year, win player of the year. But to do it, you have to get out to a quick start and win some majors. This would be a quick start for Norm, who's even as his mom watches.